What are you deeply afraid of? Uh, disappointing people. That people would, would show up to something that I put on and wouldn't get value in it. So getting on stage, I mean, it used to be so bad that I couldn't, I couldn't even go meet a startup entrepreneur at a coffee shop because I'd just be so worried that they would show up and feel like I wasted their time for a free meeting at a coffee shop. So I've had to, the tour last year actually even helped a lot because I got to get on stage every four days and face my fear. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm deeply afraid of. What about you, Zan? Um, Julie, you got you got you got to answer my answer. They're gonna say I'm you know copying your answer. So Julie, you got to answer. They're gonna say you're copying Drew's answer or copying my answer. They're gonna say I'm copying your answer. So Drew, you have an answer. Don't worry. Let's hear your version of it. <laughs> Okay, let me give a different version. Okay, so my, my, mine is, mine is I, I really, I love people so much that it really bothers me a lot to hurt their feelings or disappoint them. And so I have to be discreet in who I do what with and say what with. But if I had to just say my deepest um, thing I'm afraid of, which I think most people, almost everybody on this earth is, is the fear of rejection. No one wants to be rejected. Everybody want to be accepted, want to be loved, want to be connected, and no one wants to be rejected, including me. So it does come back to, in everyday language, just disappointing others. And that was a major driver. It still drives me to this day. But when I was a kid growing up, um, to make my parents proud of me and not disappoint them um, is why I kind of walked the straight and narrow, never got in trouble, always got good grades, was always a good kid, the whole nine yards. Um, so yeah, I, so if someone's close to me and I really care about them, I do not want to disappoint them. I always want to please them, make them happy. So you can also call it sometimes the disease to please, but that's just, that's just who I am. And, um, that's it. So that's my deepest, again, when you say fear, there's four major fears, right? What I teach is the fear of death. I don't really fear dying at all the fear of loss, the fear of the unknown, and the fear of rejection. And I think the fear of rejection is where we live at every single day. So sometimes we can just say um, the fear of disappointing others. <laughs> Photo, F-O-D-O. -O. So my answer is very similar or just like Evans. So there you go. That's the long and short of it. What's your deep okay. fear, Drew? We didn't. We didn't let Drew answer that one. What do you got, Drew? We got to concentrate. I don't necessarily fear death. I just fear getting old. Getting old. Okay. Yeah. You fear getting old. So, so what is it about getting old that you fear, Drew? Not taking care of yourself, or what? What, what do you well, fear? It, it, it's more of the the recognition of hitting a hitting a point where. I will be limited in the what I can do from a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so translation, that means Drew fear being helpless. I mean, if, it, if it's got to boil down to one of your four, then I guess so. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah you, Drew, Drew fear, he, well, anything is the fear of the unknown then if it boils down to one of the four. But Drew just, he just, he don't want to feel helpless. Drew likes to, Drew likes to be in power and be in control. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just reinterpreting what Drew said because he says I, I speak for him anyways on the other street. 